So here I am, Palm Springs, California. I'm in an Airbnb and it's pretty freaking awesome. It's really small though. Just a little one bedroom, one bath. I don't know if you can see in here or not. There, one bath. Dining room area, myself, and the kitchen. It's pretty cool. I think I should Airbnb my apartment when I'm out of town. Anyway, I'm only here for two nights because my girlfriend is actually here in Palm Springs for a nursing convention. So I'm actually here with her. She wanted me to come along. I said, sure, why not? It'll be a lot of fun. I figured this would be a great time to kick back, relax, do some editing, and also do my first Q&A session. Got my shoes kicked off, I'm on the sofa, relaxing. Let's get this started. It goes a one, two, three. Make it, make it funky. Make it funky. Make it funky. Make it funky. Make it, make it funky. Make it, make it, make it, make it funky. How do you like that Q and A intro? Also, for future reference, if anybody wants to ask me some questions to have answered on this channel, then this is the time to do it. You can comment on this video, comment on my future videos. Just put your questions, and eventually I'll get to them in a video just like this. I also reply to some of my comments, but sometimes I get too busy. But eventually I, I get to everybody. I do see every single comment at some point. <laughs> All right. All right, question number one. Is it hard to get a pilot's license? My answer is no. It's not hard to get a pilot's license. It is expensive. It can run up to these kind of prices here. It totally varies. It depends what flight school you go to. Um, it depends on what instructor you have. It depends on you. It depends on your pace of learning. It is, some, some parts of it are challenging. Learning the rules and regulations is definitely challenging, but some people breeze through that with no problem. I think uh, taking off and landing a plane is extremely easy, but I think the book work is sometimes a little difficult. And some people would say the exact opposite. Some people would say that taking off and landing is really hard to do, but some people are just bookworms and they just catch on to that stuff right away. So it really depends on you, the pace of the student, and whatnot. But it is expensive to some. It is time consuming. So having the time and money, very crucial. You definitely wanna make sure you commit 100% when you're trying to get a pilot's license. It's when you do the off and on kind of thing like I did, it, it, it is very challenging. It's, it gets time consuming. It's, it's, it takes a very long time. Let's see, Brian, how long have you been flying? How long have I been flying? I started in June of 2003. Matter of fact, June 13th of 2003. It was on Friday the 13th. That was my first flight where I was actually taking control. I've been on many airplanes before, but when I was actually at control. First time, Friday the 13th. Crazy, right? Um, so that's 2003, so that makes uh, 14 years. 14 years and some odd months. This is Friday the 13th. I'm actually filming this on Friday the 13th in October. So I know this video is being posted kind of late. Sorry, like I said, busy. What was that crazy water contraption thing? This is in reference to the video called She Wrecked My Car. It's actually posted on February 5th, 2016, if you want to go back and look at it. Uh, 47 seconds in, it shows this clip right here of me drinking water from this machine. This machine is called an SD501. It's made from a company called Enagic, a Japanese water technology. It basically, it's not a water filter, but it's a water ionizer. Anyway, more information on- I have to change batteries here. But it's not really aviation related question, but it is a question and I am gonna answer it. So, moving on. Do you get paid even when your flights get canceled? Yes, I do, I'm on salary. However, I make extra when I do fly, so that part I don't get paid if, if it gets canceled. Well, isn't consuming oil something a jet engine is not supposed to do, or is that normal? Like, is it burned normally, like in a two-stroke internal combustion engine? It's definitely normal. All engines consume oil at some rate. All engines that use oil. Um, jets are no exception. So do you do all the pre-flight checklists alone without the captain? It depends. If I'm early, 
than I do it by myself. We're there at the same time. Sometimes we just help each other out. He does one part, I do another part. Sometimes he does it all by himself and I handle some other things. It all depends, but we're a team. Great video, Brian. I love your content. Who do you work for or is that private info? No, it's not private. I work for a company called Silver Air. See that? Silver Air. Um, my company loves my videos as well. So um, if you want to book a flight through Silver Air, hit them up. Brian, you are terrible at making videos. You suck. You should get off YouTube. Oh wait, that was my comment. Just kidding. Hey, what iPad do you use for flying? iPad mini. Company provided. When will there be another vlog? You're watching it. What editing software do you use? I use Adobe Premiere Pro for the clipping of the videos and putting them all in the timeline. I use Adobe After Effects for all of the visual effects, um, little graphics that pull up on the sides, um, that basic stuff. And I use Adobe Photoshop in case I want to alter a thumbnail for a video or whatever it may be. When are you allowed to listen to music when flying? Pretty much any time above 10,000 feet or any time that the flying situation is not crucial. So if we're just kicking back, we're a cruise flight, yeah, I listen to music all the time. Of course, at a reasonable volume, I have to know what air traffic control is telling me. How many total hours of flight time do you have? This was actually asked me a year ago. Sorry for the late reply. At the time, it was about uh, 1,500 or so, I guess. Maybe a, little, maybe a little more than that. Right now, it's close to 2,500 hours. Still low time, but hey, it's building up pretty fast. How many hours did you have before you got hired in the right seat? Approximately 950 hours before I got hired in the right seat of the Phenom 100. I've seen people get hired with way less. What camera do you use? Um, I usually leave this information in the description below of every video, some of them I miss, but anyway. My primary vlogging camera right, that I'm using right now is a Canon G7X. So if you want to see, that's what it looks like, Canon G7X. Awesome camera. I love the autofocus on my face whenever I'm vlogging. It's fantastic. Uh, also, I use a GoPro Hero 4. Um, I usually mount that on my head. I have a little head mount that I use whenever I'm flying. I also use the DJI Spark. This is actually a new addition to my um, collection of tools that I use for filmmaking. The one I'm most definitely pleased with. I'm enjoying this a lot. And also I have a Canon 60D. I don't have that here, but um, my initial vlogs, that's what I use. It's a big, huge DSLR camera. I mean, I gotta kinda hold it like this, you know, hold it to my face. It's kinda cool for vlogging, but I find as though this smaller camera is easier because you have limited cockpit space when you're flying inside the planes. I'd rather have something small and compact and easy to use. That's why I'm using this. Another cool thing about the size of this camera, I can also mount this to my head if I choose to. I have a mount that I can actually use. And that's what I use whenever I'm flying an airplane below 10,000 feet anyway, because we're not allowed to hold the camera while we're flying. And, uh, where we're landing and taking off and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that. Oh, man, so many questions. I'm gonna go ahead and answer one more for today. What aviation, what aviation college did you attend? I attended Spartan College of Aeronautics and Technology located in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I spent the better part of two years there and then I came back to California. I'm going to give a lot more details about uh, my, my training and all my experience and all that stuff like that in a future video. So just keep an eye out for that. But that concludes the Q&A session for today. I'm here, I'm here in Palm Springs and I want to get out and enjoy the sights. I'm gonna just kick, kick it here and be crapped in a room all day. However, I do think this is a really nice Airbnb. Wanna see how cool this place really is? Check out this epic B-roll right now. Too soon to say I'm fine Too soon to say
I'm just itching to do this with my place. I mean, just think about it. I'm out of town all the time. I could be making so much money. Definitely gonna look into that. It'd be a great place to advertise that too, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm ready to get out of here. Oh, uh, think about the Q&A. Um, should I add the YouTube names to the people who leave the comments so they can know who's being responded to? Or should I just leave it the same? Just read the questions and answer them. Let me know. And also, um, you can send questions here to this place and uh, I, I check that as well. Freaking running late. I got so carried away with filming and editing and doing all this stuff that I forgot to go pick up my girlfriend from her convention. Ah! Okay, I'm actually not late. I actually looked at the clock just in time. But imagine if I did it. Oh god. Oh god. And I'm using her car too. Oh god. Just a little modification I threw in here. Eh? Eh? I recommend you guys get one of these. It's amazing. Especially when in a parking structure and you're just doing all that all over the place. It's perfect. This is the first Airbnb I went to, and I have a feeling that it's gonna remain the best for a while. Just probably can't get much better than that. So as I'm driving, I'm trying to figure out what there is to do in Palm Springs. Um, there was an event we were supposed to go to called the um, Palm Springs uh, Street Fair, but it's every Thursday. Today is Friday, but we were here last night. We went out to a bar and got something to eat. We thought the street fair was going to be tonight. So we missed it. Freaking sucks. Everybody. kind of a little fast forward here but I'm at Van Nuys Airport now this is the following day after the Palm Springs trip get ready to do a drop-off in Vegas I'm not including that in this video I just kind of wanted to give this video a little ending if this video helped you in any way please go down below smash that like button go in and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet apparently a lot of people are doing that these days and stay tuned for the next video I'm working on some stuff right now coming up real soon take it easy I posted that February 5th, 2016.